Yoel Romero finds a new home after UFC release expected to sign contract with Bellator. Ariel Helwani broke the news Yoel Romero is headed to Bellator. Romero has agreed to a new deal with Bellator. Sources say he is expected to sign imminently. He'll debut for the promotion in 2021 at 205 pounds. His debut date and fight aren't set yet. Sources say. Initially, Bellator officials passed on Romero. However, after further talks last week and with a new chapter at 205, the two sides were able to come to an agreement very recently. Khabib Nurmagomedov predicted Tony Ferguson was finished prior to being dominated by Charles Oliveira at UFC 256. Yes, and uh, I understand it's like uh, Tony Ferguson's time is finished. You know, now he's gonna come back. Someone gonna beat him, beat him again. I believe because when you when you take damage like this, you never gonna be same. Never ever, even if you're Tony Ferguson. You know, he take too much damage, you know. Max Holloway praises Khabib, talks about his retirement, hopes to fight him one day. How about Khabib Nurmagomedov walking away from the sport? I mean, I got to admit, as a fan hey. of the sport, I always thought yeah. that maybe, hey. maybe you two would, uh, yeah, would cross know, up man. like you were supposed to in Brooklyn. What did you think of that? Man, I, man, man, um, it's not completely out the water. He said that if he get his mom's blessing, that he'd come back. So come back, Kobe, please. I wanna, I wanna step in the octagon with you one time, man. But you know, all, you know, all, all competitiveness aside, the dude's a freaking legend, bro. He, he's a goat. Uh, I, he's one of the best to ever do this. Uh, you know, tough times with with, with with everything going on with his family and stuff. You know, uh, prayers to him. I hope he's doing safe. But I see him killing it. You know, he just had the interview. He just. He, the dude is launching his own cellular line you know, out there. The dude is launching his own MMA promotion. Uh, a promotion. You are a beast, Khabib, and uh, nothing but happy for you, bro. But if you ever, uh, if you ever want to come back, bro, let me know, bro. Hit my line. I would, I would love the opportunity to share the octagon with you. The guy is just, I'm a competitor, and he's one of the best. That's, that's the kind of competition that, uh, that excites me. So, I, I hope nothing but the best, bro. I hope he. It, He's helping rush out so much, man. He's killing it. He's killing it. He's getting the next generation too. So he's ready. So it, 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 good time, bro. Just all the blessings. Max Holloway previews Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier. And then January 23rd, two guys that you know pretty well, Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. What, what do you think? What do you think about that fight? Can you kind of, you said you want to be an analyst for ESPN someday. Yeah. Okay, break that fight down for us. I I I think that fight's gonna be amazing. I think it's gonna be an amazing fight. You know what I mean? I it just sucks that they have to be the third one in the new year because we're already gonna start off with a bang. So they're kind of missing that spot. You know, they're just missing. That. They should have started that with the new years. But no, they started us with the right. They started the right one off. We're gonna start with bang. But you know, all jokes aside, I think it's gonna be a banger. I, I, it's a, it's a hydrated, it's a hydrated Dustin at 55. You know, and um, I don't know about Connor. The picture's been swirling around this stuff. He looks huge right now, so I don't know how he's gonna look. But I, I two southpaws, two two great history. Um, you know, and everybody keeps saying oh, Connor hasn't fought since the beginning of the year, blah 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 this and that, bro. Ring rust don't there's a certain level at this when ring rust it does not affect us. Like this, this ring rust is not a real thing, you know what I mean? Just like 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 everybody you need sparring. Like I just showed you guys we didn't need sparring for my last fight. Like all these stuff that you guys make up, it's just yeah. I think so whoever wins that night, whoever comes mentally prepared that night, whoever whoever zoned in. Cause that fight is too close. It's too close to pit. This guy is these two guys is killers. Dustin's on his on his look killer streak right now. You know, he's, he was fighting whoever he wanted to fight with. Him. He was super hungry, and then you know we don't know. You know we don't know what uh, Connor's coming back for this and that. But if he's laser focused, uh, this this is a super fun fight. You know I don't really watch fights too much, but I think I might be turning into watch down. Uh, it, no. it, it's an exciting fight. Connor McGregor saves an Irish MMA gym from closing due to pandemic. From the lowest low to the highest high, we are not closing. Our teammate and friend The Notorious MMA has decided to help us out and keep the gym running. We will be eternally grateful to everyone that messaged and got in touch with us to show your support. Thank you all so much. See you all on the mats. Cyril Jen explains why he only wants to fight Francis Ngannou if the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. I think if the UFC does this, please do this 
for the belt. That's it. He added when pressed about a fight with Nganu, because you understand we're from the same gym, the same coach. And guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like for more MMA news.